All right, I'm just waiting for Aja. Aja's gonna go with me. And uh, we're also gonna stop and get some dinner. Uh, stuff to make dinner. I think I'm gonna make um, cream of broccoli soup tonight. I think that sounds good. It's cold here. And it's a little glary though. I haven't put my sunglasses on for so many days that they're kind of dirty. I don't know what's happening to Aja. Let's see. Let's see if we can go find her. Are you recording? I am recording. <laughs> Hello, people <laughs> in YouTube land. In YouTube land. Looks like we're probably going to fall over. Fall I need over. to get him. Fall over. Oh, this is tight. Huh? I know. Thread it's the really, needle. really, really tight right through there. He said, thread the needle. Oh, yeah. We got her. <laughs> All right, we're going to Dollar Tree. No, what is it called? The, just the Dollar Store, right? It's the Dollar Tree. Is it Dollar Tree? Uh-huh. That's the actual Dollar Store. Not like Dollar General. Everything's a dollar. Right. Unlike when we traveled through the other states, we go to a Dollar General. Well, it's generally a dollar. <laughs> That's why they call it Dollar General. I never saw anything for a dollar in those, no, those stores. It, I think they mean generally... Yeah. <laughs> cheap, but not a dollar. It was, you definitely can find more at Dollar General, though, than you can at the Dollar Store. Although I will say, products. usually at Ooh, um, Dollar yeah, General, ship. there are no, um, I mean, it's usually less than $10, $15, I think. Yeah. They don't have something too expensive there. I don't think I've ever seen anything like more than $10 there. That's a dollar. That's like $10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but at the dollar store. Yeah. That's there, why I say. Some things are extremely cheaply made. Yeah. If that's what you're saying. Well, Dollar General. See, there you guys go. Falling down. Falling down. <laughs> Hang on. Having complications here. I'm going to need you to get a stand, lady. <laughs> well, I don't normally film with my phone anymore. But I didn't want to take my big camera with me. That's a weird, awkward um, yeah. position. Let's see. Where? And they're like, where? They're up our noses. I know. No, but the Dollar Tree is a good place to get things to do crafts and stuff because you can spend a dollar on something, take it all apart, and then you can make things with it. Right. Uh, That's what I like. I like it. Dollar Tree because it's a true dollar store. Mm -hmm. Everything is a dollar. Not five dollars, right. three dollars. They should have probably named themselves. Oh, these ball colors are so pretty. Other than Dollar General. Fall colors are pretty. Mm -hmm. Let me show you guys. Look at all those trees. Pretty. Pretty trees, pretty colors. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys off. I'll see you guys at the Dollar General, no, Dollar Tree, Dollar tree. Store. It's like a tree, <laughs> like you showed them, a tree. Okay, Look at Panda's eyes for Halloween. Ooh. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it's creepy. That is like a dinosaur. I, you remember I did that to Panda. Um, yeah, the, look at these eyes. Those are mostly more ghost-like. Oh. Aw, oh, this is cute. Boo. Boo. All right, well, they're getting a little bit of their Christmas stuff out. Oh, no. All right, I need to go over to Michael's and finish getting the rest of my stuff. Want to make a brain jello? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah, some mold. Jell mold. Bizarre. You can eat some brain. Oh, Scotty's favorite. <laughs> spiders. I won't be decorating in spiders this year. Well, I'm glad I came back uh, to this section because I was going to get these. 
Um, I'm still going to get one because I'm putting my silverware in them. But I had actually come down to find these ones because these fit perfect in my pull-out pantry and they're short enough to fit into my refrigerator. So, I'm going to get a couple of those and actually quite a few of those and put these ones back uh, somewhere. Oh, there they go. So one of the problems that I have in our camper is that my drawers are not long enough to put a silverware holder in there, but these fit perfect, so. All right, I'm gonna go pay. <laughs> We're no longer at the dollar store. We're at, at a grocery store. Look at these. Do those look yummy or what? Now, if you don't like mushrooms, those are not gonna look good to you, but oh my gosh. Look at the price on those puppies. Yeah. I can see why they call it lobster mushroom or mushroom lobster. Really cool. All right, I'm getting uh, stuff to make broccoli soup. And I think I'm just about done. They do, but I don't know. It's over in the deli. All right, I wanted to see how much just one of those lobster mushrooms cost. They weigh about a quarter pound. So, yeah, I'm not getting them. They're way too expensive, but I just wanted to see uh, what they were like price-wise. I'm sure they're very interesting, but I'm gonna have to research that before I don't worry, I didn't touch the mushroom. Um, I picked it up at the bank and put it in there, so don't worry about that, but it's odd. And I don't know what that is. I guess that's just another mushroom. Huh. Okay, if you've ever had mushroom lobster, let me know. I wanna know what it tastes like. And then this is hedgehogs. I just never seen anything like that before. Yum. All right, I'm gonna get through the grocery store and go home and start cooking. It's been a long day, so everything's packaged up. I just have to dump it in the pan. I got, of course, I gotta make, uh, cook up the bacon, make the broth part, and then dump all that in there and that'll be good. Got me some, what is that? Uh, Cheesecake Factory brown bread. Yum. Anyways, I think that's going to be it. Oh, and I got this cute little picture at the dollar store. So I'm pretty happy about that. Scotty's up here with Moo mm -hmm. watching. I was watching a baseball game. Watching baseball. Huh, Moo? Moo, you about ready to go home? Been over here with Unky. No, huh? I'll stay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make my soup. I've got three slices of bacon chopped up. I'm going to put that in my pan. I'm going to fry that up. Three stalks of celery here. And I'm going to cut it up pretty fine. I'll cut these in threes or fours or fives <laughs> only because I don't want it to take too long to cook these and I don't really want big chunks of them now I cook I turned my bacon back off because I don't want it to cook uh, too fast so I want to pop these in there with the bacon. So turn that back on. And I put it on a six, which is oh medium high. And then I'm going to put my celery right in there with my bacon. 
and I had leftover diced onion from last night because we had tacos. I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to get my garlic chopped up. I my poor little garlics. Seen better days, but that's all right. It's still good. I'm trying to use up all the little pieces that I had from my uh, last bulb. Stick on those ones. Alright, now I turn that down to a four because I just want to sweat those onions and uh, get that celery so that it's nice and tender. So I'll let that cook a little slower than uh, I was doing. I want all those uh, little pieces of veggie down there to cook up with the bacon, but I don't want to burn any of it. I bought the easy way here. Frozen broccoli. That's how Scotty and I usually buy it. Uh, let's see, they got some fancy, fancy thing going on here. And these are uh, just organic broccoli flowerettes. They're nice and nice small pieces. So into this, I'm gonna pour. Oh. I would say this is a, let's see, 32 ounces, and I put half the bag in there. So that's going to be good. And they're frozen still because Aja and I just got home from the store. So, oh, I forgot to put my garlic in. That's okay, though. And then I have, let's see, how much is this? This is three, 40, 48 ounces, and I'm going to go ahead and just pour that in over top. Now that broccoli is not going to take too long. That's how I'm going to do it just because it's frozen. Turn that back on and let's get that to a boil and then I'll turn it down and simmer it. And I'm going to have to, I was hoping this would just be a one pot meal, but I forgot my, I forgot my garlic. So that's okay. I'll go ahead and cook my garlic up in another pan. I just want to uh, get it sauteed a little bit. Scotty, if you step down, my garbage can's right there. Are you saying so I don't step in your garbage can? Yeah, please don't step in my garbage can. I don't want you to fall off of the... Thank you. Somebody's going to laugh at me because I uh, put two up there and I said, oh, no, I'm going to have three more. <laughs> so now I think I've got probably six, six or seven cloves of uh, garlic. But I'll tell you what, I, I cannot get enough garlic. I just, I love it. I kind of love garlic like Scotty loves onions. I do love the garlic though too. Yeah, I don't eat garlic plain, but uh, boy, my mom did that one time. She went on this garlic kick where she <laughs> she she uh, she decided my mother decided that she was gonna eat a garlic clove a day, and after about a week of that, and we were all working together at the time cleaning houses. My mother had a uh, before. Well, even when she was still doing upholstery and stuff, she had a company, a cleaning company, and we, she had a lot of homes. So we had a big, big crew. I think there was, at one point, I think there was like seven of us. But uh, <laughs> she got in the car one day and, woo, we could all smell that garlic. 
it was it was pungent so I don't think that I will be going on a garlic eating venture anytime soon okay so I'm gonna cook those I'm gonna cook that garlic up and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little butter in it you could do you could use olive oil if you wanted to or any kind of oil it doesn't matter I should have cooked that I should have put the garlic in there uh, in with the onions and the bacon and the celery at the last minute but that's okay Now one of the reasons that we do frozen broccoli and we do frozen uh, cauliflower is that when we're traveling, this is just an easier uh, item to put in the freezer. We always have it on hand and usually, you know, unless I want it raw, this is a good way to do it. And also we find out that sometimes getting the fresh stuff Within three days, it starts to yeah out of garbage. So yeah, different uh, different states. We really have a hard time when we're going through so many different states with different weather, different climate. It really wreaks havoc on our vegetable, uh, our produce in the refrigerator. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> it smells really oh, good. Oh man! Oh man! Mm -hmm. All right, that's good enough. That doesn't need too too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some salt right now. I don't know, maybe a teaspoon of salt, a little bit more. Just do it to taste. Some cracked pepper. Some paprika. Let's see, I'll try to show you guys how much I'm putting in there. I would say a, a oh, half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this, I'm not sure, nutmeg, I, I'm not real sure on how much of that to put in, so I'll be, I'll put, well, about the same. I think I'll be okay. Might have to add a little bit more of that, I'm not sure though. I just thought about it. I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, mushroom seasoning. Uh, I picked this up down at Trader Joe's, one of my favorite stores. Um, I'm going to put a little bit in there, see what it's like. So, I don't know, about like that. If you get a chance to try this, this is really good. Um, I don't know if you can buy it other places. It's just where I found it was at Trader Joe's, but it's Mushroom and Company. It's really good. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, now we've got a boil going, so I'm going to turn that down and let that simmer for just a little bit. Cream cheese. I've cut up some cream cheese. And I made little cubes so it will melt a little faster in here. And I'm only going to do a half a block of it. Whipping cream. You can use half and half if you want. I'd say two cups of cooking cream. I'm not cooking cream, whipping cream. I'm going to let that cream cheese melt. So go ahead and just let the cream cheese melt. Get it all, get all those little chunks out of there. 
I've got sharp white cheddar. Yeah, I'd say a good cup cup of white sharp white cheddar. And then I've got this one's an 18 month age cheddar. You can use any kind of cheddar you want. And I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing on that one. These are six ounces. I'm going to put a little bit more of that one in there too. Oh heck, just throw it all in there. So you got two bags of that. I mean, after all it is broccoli and cheddar soup, huh? So just put in enough Wonder Flour or flour, whatever you have, um, to make it thicken up a little bit. I need to put some heat on that. There it's going. It's starting to thicken up. Dash of smoked paprika. Nice little pieces of bread. And that's going to be good. Well, Scotty's having dinner in bed. <laughs> oh, my spoon almost took a dive in there. Because he's watching his football game. Mm. What'd you think? So good. Okay. Oh, so good. All right, everybody. Have a good night. We love you. Or a good day. And enjoy this meal if you get a chance to make it. Yeah. It's really good. It did turn out pretty good. Mm. All right. Be good and be kind to each other. We love you. Then they tell